Here is Peter Tilden. Thank you very much. We're having a really nice time here. We're having some deli. We've got some great guests. Let's put Dr. Kipper's guest on. I think we got a question for Dr. Kipper. Hit Dr. Kipper and Shari. Go ahead. Back at the studio. Uh, I want to know if my boss is going to bring home something from Switzerland. I, I asked for chocolate immediately, but initially, but now I want to know if I can get a timepiece instead. Oh, Dr. Dr. Kipper, so this is what... He's ready for a uh, poker game, and I want to ask Tom Sherrick if his daughters know who the Beatles are now. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, so a lot of questions. David, will you bring back somebody who works in your Hi. office a nice gift? Uh, yes, I'm actually Sherry bringing home a new secretary. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Sherry, so there goes, I guess that answers the watch and the chocolate question. Okay, Jason Alexander, what do you want to ask him? No, no, he, Tom Sherrick, not Jason. I thought she had a question for you, too. No, she said I Tom. did, I said to Jason, I want to oh. know if he's ready for the poker game. Oh, if I'm ready for the poker game, which one are you talking about? Uh, whatever one we set up at Dr. Kipper's house, if he's still house. Uh, are you, Jason, Jason, I'm actually you? prepping for a big poker tournament right now. I'm going to Atlantis. Uh, on January 7th, I'll be playing in the uh, PCA event. How, wait, by the way, I've seen you play. How do you prep? You just throw money out of the car? What do you do? <laughs> <laughs> Write checks to people you don't know. What do you do? What do you do? How do you Fire prep? Place. How do you prep? Uh, <laughs> can I tell one story? Your audience must we, be hysterical right now. And went, I can hear no, no, them 11 people no, no, no. laughing their ass. We went, we went, we went <laughs> to Vegas once. Jason, Jason, I think he took me for my birthday. He said, come, I'm doing a tournament and it's free. So come with me. And I, I'm playing. He said, Petey, Petey, he calls me Petey. He said, I'm going to play in a tournament with the pros. And I am, I've got it. This, this time I'm doing it. Remember this? This time, this time I'm doing it. I figured it out. I practiced. I'm doing it. I'm really doing it. And there's some of the best pros in the world. Uh, they made him up because it was on TV. They made him up. They put clothing on him. They did wardrobe. They did something. He said, Petey, I'll see you later. Go go do whatever you want. Gamble. Go go see the Lions. To see, see, see if you can find Roy. Uh, do whatever you need to do. And I'll be back later today. He walked through the curtain into the room, got applause. He's not saying he sat down at the table. He was back in the room about a minute and a half later. Oh, you <laughs> lying sack. I said, so when do they you, start? Oh, when will they start playing, good. Jason? He said, well, you know, and here's the story. Oh. You know what? I had the best hand, but what the guy next Jeez. to me didn't know that. He didn't realize that that's not how you play. Well, that part is true. <laughs> He's always the other guy. Peter, Jason was kind enough to lend his name and come play in a variety <clears throat> poker tournament that's thrown by the studios. And uh, he came and we sat at the same table. I never play, I don't play, I don't play at all. Jason left about 45 minutes later, and five hours later, I left finishing in second place. <laughs> That's right. There you go. Yeah. I'm, Jason I'm likes to play, he, you I know what he's, no, I realize what it is. I realize what it is, and this is the truth. I figured out, after watching him get up in tournaments very early, he loves to play, he's scared he's going to get hemorrhoids. That's exactly <laughs> what it is. His mom always said, don't sit too long, and about the third hand, he goes, you know, i got to get out. i got to get right. out. So. But Jason also did a thing for Wounded Warrior. You did a lot of, a lot of good uh, poker playing. He yeah, lost play. a lot of places for, 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 a, for, a lot, for a lot of charities. Uh, thank you, Shari. Oh, Shari, what was your question for, uh, for Tom? Oh, for Tom. Uh, years ago, we were there, I think Tom will remember, they were about to re-release one of the Beatles movies, and his daughters walked in. I think they were about 17 and 14 at some point, Tom. Maybe you'll remember this. And we were talking about the Beatles, and his youngest daughter said, who are the Beatles? No. And we all froze, and the oldest yeah. daughter said, oh, that's Paul McCartney's first band. All right. That, actually, that was a lot longer than... You get no, Sherry. That's a lot longer than that. Uh, <laughs> the kids were, as I remember, that was 19, 1984, 3, 4. And at that time, the kids were... Ten and the girls were ten and twelve. So uh, yeah, and you didn't they, let them watch. You didn't. You didn't expose them to stuff. They didn't know what they Expose my girls to the to the Beatles. Well, my wife brought up the kids. I was working. Wow. Yeah, she exposed them to um, to schoolwork. But now you know what the Beatles are. Now, Beatles, now I know. I know, I know who the Beatles are. Thank you, Shari. Let's go to John. John's got a question for I'm Jason. Think, I don't think Nick knows who the Beatles are, though. Ned has. You want in the group? <laughs> Get the name right. <laughs> no, let's start with the name. Let's start with the name, okay? Then we'll go from there. By the way, it's now ten thousand dollars. Ned, Ned, Ned was very excited. Ned is a music fan. Myself. Ned is a musician. Ned is a huge, huge fan of a lot of groups, and he was a fan of yours up until about a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about the band, Ray. <laughs> Sal. 
<laughs> By the way, R E O. Most people don't know this. The R E O is named after the guy who created the spe R E O Speedwagon. Yeah. It's a guy's name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is his name? Uh, uh, Redmond uh, E. Off. What is R Ransom Eli Olds? Ransom yeah. Eli Olds. Was R E O Speedwagon was named yeah, after yeah, the guy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Little known fact that will get you nowhere except maybe Jeopardy movie movie. Yeah. Oh, right? yeah. I got to tell you something. The New York Times uh, uh, crossword puzzle. It's in there. We're, it's in there. We're, there yeah, we're big and getting yeah. <laughs> Years ago, I was. Uh, when I first started going to college in Chicago, I would commute, uh, and I would drive by this this bar, and on the billboard of the bar was R E O Speedwagon. Can we not mention the this name of the bar? If, 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 the if Thirsty it, Whale in River Grove, Grove, Illinois. The Thirsty Whale. And that you know what's amazing doesn't... about about that band? And Kevin, Kevin is a wonderful. We talked about all the charity stuff people do. He does a lot of stuff. And I met Kevin because he was a listener and fan, and we talked. And he ended up doing a bunch of events for us that raised a lot of money. But the amazing thing is, and sales today are not like that anymore, your your album, the big one, sold 10, 10 million yeah. copies, right? It's well, probably more than that now. Yeah, we, we just did, I, I got to mention, we just did an amazing event. You know the tornadoes that went through southern Illinois about three weeks ago where yep. they had to they had a empty out soldier field and everything? Well, we, within, you know, when Sandy hits, you know, the New York musicians get together, and, and so a tornado hits Illinois, so we're like, well... Yeah, this is us. This is our. This is our thing. These are our people. So, you would, you, you'd be proud, man. All the That's Illinois awesome. bands. You know, we we called up our buddies in Cheap Trick and and Sticks and Survivor. Richard Marks came down, and within w w less than two weeks, we you know our, all the all the everyone got together. No one took a dime. They they donated the building in Bloomington, Illinois, and we put together a concert that raised four hundred thousand dollars for these people. And just it, so it's amazing what you know what what you know we're also all of us yeah. are so lucky that we've got in, are just in a position in life where we can do these things and uh you know you raise bring a joy to a lot of people i see every time i yeah. go to your concerts there's so many people it's so meaningful to so many people you can feel that from the stage right everybody's singing the song oh, are you kidding we love it that's that that's what's i mean we're up there having a good time that, that's still you know, just, yeah go ahead th this group has been blessed beyond measure in so many ways yeah we and, are, that we, we are. and that we pay it forward I think it's I think it's pretty cool and it's yeah. an honor to, to have the opportunity to do what we all get to do. Yeah, we're yeah. we're all lucky. We it's, are. It's pretty amazing. Now you played Live Aid and you just came off the road, 97 gigs. Do you how do you keep from going road crazy? We uh you don't. We 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 you know by the end of 97 uh, shows well actually for me it's the, the 97 shows are the easy part. It's the rest of life that I have a little trouble with. You know, yeah. Jason and I did a tour. We wrote a thing together, and he went out and performed, and I went with him. By the fifth gig, it was because it's Groundhog Day. It's the same thing every day. I was ready. I see why Led Zeppelin threw TVs through windows <laughs> and, and why you start shooting up or something, because it's the same thing. It doesn't matter what city you're in. The redundancy makes you crazy. So how do you fill that time? You know, we're, uh, I, I, I mean, I, you know, I go to the gym. I, you know, I, I try to... You know, I try to. I, I, you you got to learn how to cope after 40 years That's of so doing good. it. That's uh, so good. We did hookers. I did you? Wanna, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it's all in coping. It's, it's just it's, in the way to you cope. cope yeah, but for yeah. Jason, I mean, that's that kills 15 minutes, and you got the whole rest of the day for the show. <laughs> <laughs> and we had people cooking for us at different events. It was really insane. I got to see an insight of what that must be like life on the road, and, and like you said, doesn't matter how great the show is. Then you got to travel to the next. To the, the show next. is the fun part. That you know, that's where we, you know, that's where we get to. It's I'm standing the up there with my four best buddies, <laughs> yeah. and you know, just this great group of guys that set the gear up and keep us all in tune. We we got this, you know, you've met that. You've uh, yeah, met our. Great. It's a great it's band. A, it's a big family, and and we we have a great time out there. On, you know, yeah, it looks like a, you, we're gonna you do a the break. shows for free. It's to travel you get paid for. Exactly. That's exactly. Yeah, right. Yeah, all right. I know what I'm talking. Let's about. take a break. We we'll come back. We'll take some more calls. I want to talk with Dennis Zine about politics. When we come back for a moment, we're from seven ninety. We do traffic first on the fours, and here's that traffic.